All right, guys, we're going to take a look at this new release from Doxa, sent over by Exquisite Timepieces, my preferred authorized dealer for Doxa. Here's the part number of this guy here. This is the Aqua Aquamarine S. See the little S there? So the, those first numbers, those are going to be on all of the Aquamarines and the two sub 200 T, T, excuse me. But the S is going to stand for the Sun Ray dial. This one has the Sun Ray dial. You can get the Icon dial which is gonna be more of the, like this, like just the flat color. So you have options with the Sub 200T. You can get the Sunray or the Iconic dial. You can get it in, I think, all the colors and a smaller case, smaller package uh, for the smaller wrist or the, the preference for a smaller watch. Whatever your scenario is, the Doxa has you covered. And Exquisite carries all of them. So they're authorized dealer for over 60 watches. So I'm going to give you direct contact information down below in the description, as well as a link to this watch. Like if you just want to go on the website and order it up, you can do so. But I highly recommend reaching out to my guy, Tyler, or you can use their little pop-up chat thing and, you know, talk to the salespeople because they're great. You'll get, you know, the full experience. Tell them I sent you too. So this guy here, let's get into the measurements. Pointer finger. So from this side of the case to this side of the case is 39 millimeter. So greatly reduced. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some more comparisons. But some people had asked for the measurement of just the bezel from here to here. I measure this guy at 35.2 millimeter. So pretty small. The lug to lug, all the Doxos pretty much have a short lug to lug. This one's even shorter, 41.3 millimeter. You can see the signed crown there. That crown is a six millimeter screw down crown with the matching aquamarine turquoise Jenny logo there. The thickness, I measure at 11 millimeter flat sapphire crystal up top. That polished and brushed 120 click bezel there. So you have your dive time and your decompression timer, I think. And then of course you have the classic Doxa case back, full polished. You have 18 millimeter lug opening. And I know some people are going to be like, 18's too, it's like the whole, all the dimensions of the watch are proportionate, guys. It's like they took the sub 300 and just shrunk it down. So you can't shrink it down and still have a 20 millimeter lug opening. It's going to reduce to 18. That's the correct proportions for this case size. Does that make sense? So you can get it on the FKM rubber like this. This price point is $15.50. Or you can get bracelet options on all of these as well. So if you don't care to have the bracelet, you're never going to wear the bracelet, then get the FKM rubber, really ties in the color, matches it up nicely, and, um, you know, get what is appropriate for you. So both of them have these really nice clasp. So simple two-button two pusher here, signed with the Jenny logo with the Doxa, and then you'll have this quick dive extension or uh, micro adjust, whatever you want to call it. These straps will have to be cut to size, so keep that in mind. Um, there are little marks, right? So you can cut straight across. It's not indented all the way across, but it, it is marked and uh, you'll be able to cut it straight across. So really thin mid case on this thing. Uh, price point, I think I already said 1550 Sunray dial. Movement inside, automatic Swiss movement, 38 hour power reserve. I suspect it's the Salita SW200. They don't really tell you. So, but it's probably the Salita SW200. Date at the three o'clock position, you can see that beautiful Sunray dial. I suspect most people are probably going to select the Sunray dials just because it adds to the pop of these colors. It really um, stands out more. I have the green one here too. I'll, I'll do an independent vi video of it. But I like that they tie in the color with the straps, with the color fill on the bezel, the crown. You know, it's just all those little attention to detail items that just make it nice. The bezel action is classic Doxa, very smooth and lines up. You can see the saw teeth there. Plenty enough grip, but not going to like rip your fingers apart or anything. So and you can see they're kind of angled a little bit, angled cut. I'll try, yeah, I should be able to put this on wrist. It's not sized. So 
I'll go ahead and put this on the wrist and then I'll do another side-by-side -side comparison with my Sub 300T that I picked up from Exquisite. My guy Tyler there always helps me out. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Sure, I could wear it. It's just, I prefer the larger case size. Now, I do have some friends that have, you know, like six and three quarters, six and a half inch wrist. This watch is probably going to be a better fit for their wrist. They could pull off the 300. I know tons of people that do. But the 200T to have that option is just uh, well played by Doxa. I think they're going to sell very good. Um, women with a smaller wrist, probably also going to gravitate towards the sub 200T. So there they are side by side. I'm trying to hold them at about the same plane so you can kind of see some of the differences. I mean, it's the same watch, just shrunk down. Like a, like a cotton shirt you left in the dryer too long. You pop it out and it's just uh, smaller. It's the next size down. So still a great watch. Um, still going to be able to pick it up from Exquisite. Like I said, they have, uh, they got it to me right away. Like as, as soon as the watch was uh, released to the public, they were able to get it to me like right away. So um, that's the power that they have. There's a powerhouse in the industry. They have pretty much any watch you can think of beyond the brands that they're authorized dealer for, they have a massive pre-owned selection. So if you can think of the watch, odds are if you talk to a salesperson there, they can probably get it for you if they don't already have it. But here's a look at the loom. Looks like a nice healthy application of some sort of blue colored loom, probably BGW9 or some similar formula. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next vid.